Here's a question that you know, comes up sometimes. How do you find an element using an exact text, but the text is inside a variable? If it's not inside the variable, you just write a regular expression, something like, let's say, if we're searching for an apple, you want to say, well, it starts and end like that. Uh, no, it's just apple. But if we have a variable that's a string, well, how do we find, for example, a cell that only has the text apple and then maybe find the row that contains that cell. So here's how we do it. First, we find the string using contains and we say it's a TD element. And now we actually construct a regular expression by using a variable. And you can just concatenate things by saying, okay, it starts and then uh, the variable name, so the value will be apple, and then it should end. That's it, nothing else. And if we hover over site contains, it does show the right apple. It doesn't find apple cider, apple sauce, and so on. Now, once we found the cell, we can find its parent row, tr element. And now let's check something about that row. Um, it should have attribute data k that every row ha has. In this case, the value should be four. And maybe even simpler, right? We have one, two, three, four rows. So if we invoke the jQuery method index, it returns for the row its index among its siblings. So because it's zero base, it should equal three. So we found the fourth row, right? That contains a cell with exact text from a variable name. For more examples like this, check out my Cypress example site that I will link in the description of this video.